Hello! I'm going to show you how to use EXA test, the most effective test for capturing and quantifying exosomes from biological samples. EXA test has been developed as a reliable method to quantify exosomes and examine their biomarkers. EXA test is based on double sandwich ELISA, which is one of the most popular, reliable, and easy to perform biochemical techniques. In exotest, exosomes are captured by specific antibodies against exosome-restricted antigens, which are coated onto the plate, and then exosomes are detected by primary antibodies against exosomal surface markers. Secondary antibodies, HRP conjugated, are used to detect signals. Finally, the plate is developed by adding an enzymatic substrate to produce a color chemiluminescent or fluorescent signal, which is proportional to the quantity of exosomes in the sample. Exotest ready-to-use kit includes all necessary components for easy and reliable capture and quantification of exosomes from crude biological sample. Step A. Sample preparation. I will show you preparation of plasma samples as an example. Prepare your samples by three centrifugation steps. First one 10 minutes at 300 G, second one 20 minutes at 1200 G, and third one 30 minutes at 10,000 G. After each step, transfer the supernatant into a new tube. and discard the pellet. Now our samples are ready to be tested. Next we will make a calibration curve to quantify the amount of exosomes contained in our samples. Step B. Make a calibration curve. Take lyophilized exosome standards. We take purified exosomes from plasma as we are going to test plasma samples. We reconstitute them adding 100 microliters of deionized water. We suspend well by pipetting, trying to avoid making bubbles. Then vortex the excess on standards for one minute. It is important to vortex well to avoid inhomogeneous suspension, which can result in not perfect calibration curve. Add 100 microliters of PBS to reach a final volume of 200 microliters. Add 200 microliters of exosomes into the first well. Then add 100 microliters of PBS in other seven wells. Take 100 microliters of exosomes from the first well and transfer it into second one. Resuspend 5-6 times. Do the same with other 7 wells, except last one. It will remain blank for a negative control. After all dilutions, in 7th well will remain 200 microliters of sample. Discard 100 microliters from 7th well, so that in all wells what's the same volume. Calibration curve is ready. Here you can see the amount of exosomes containing in every well. Now we can load our samples, 100 microliters per well. We use diluted plasma samples. Seal the plate with parafilm and incubate at room temperature while shaking for 30 minutes. 
Transfer the plate to plus 4 and incubate overnight. Step C. Wash the plate. Prepare washing buffer by adding 15 milliliters of washing buffer to 360 milliliters of deionized water. Add 200 microliters of washing buffer per well. And then discard plate contents. Then add 300 microliters of washing buffer per well and discard the plate contents. Repeat this procedure twice again. Step D. Binding of primary antibody. We need to dilute primary antibody 500 times. To do this we take uh, 10 milliliters of sample buffer Add 20 microliters of primary antibody. Seal the plate with parafilm and incubate at room temperature while shaking for 20 minutes. Then incubate at plus 4 for two hours. Step E. Binding of secondary antibody and signal detection. Wash the plate with washing buffer as described in step C. Dilute secondary antibodies 2000 times. To do this we take sample buffer 10 milliliters and add 5 microliters of secondary antibodies. Add 100 microliters of diluted secondary antibodies into each well. Seal the plate with parafilm and incubate at room temperature while shaking for 20 minutes. Then incubate at plus 4 for 1 hour. Wash the plate with washing buffer as described in step C. Add a substrate solution, 100 microliters per well, and incubate in the dark for 5-10 minutes, until blue color is visible. Then add stop solution, 100 microliters per well. The color changes from blue into yellow. can read the absorbance at 450 nanometers. Data analysis. Collect the data and copy to Excel. Calculate the average absorbance for all parallel standards.
the values of the negative controls must be subtracted from all values. Make a standard curve. The sample concentration should be within the linear range of the curve, otherwise the samples must be diluted and the test repeated. If the optical density of a concrete sample, for example, is 0.67, then we determine the amount of exosomes containing in it according to the calibration curve we have generated. It is around 20 micrograms. For diluted samples, multiply the concentrations with the appropriate dilution factor to get the actual amount of exosomes containing in the sample. Exotest is completed. For additional information, please visit our website www.hansabiomed.eu. Thank you for your attention.